हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप आप लोग सब अच्छे हो टूडे टॉपिक इज द पार्ट सिक्सटीन ऑफ सी सी थ्री पॉइंट वन लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चन टेक्नोलॉजी पेपर यू नो वेरी वेल दैट पार्ट वन टू पार्ट फिफ्टीन ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड दो पीपल स्टिल नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो पार्ट वन टू पार्ट फिफ्टीन शो गो दैट वीडियो एंड यू चेक ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर विद द एक्सप्लेनेशन देन यू विल गेट ए कॉन्फिडेंस टू गिव द एग्जाम और अटेंड ए इंटरव्यू इन गर्ल फॉर इन इंडिया ऑल्सो so those people still not subscribe my channel and watching the video please subscribe my channel then you will not miss any videos in future and you will get the first notification if you press the bell notification then you will get the first notification when i will upload upload the video so let's start from the first question which one of these statement is true concerning solidification cracking so which statement below the in the option related to solidification cracking first is max spray increased depth to with ratio of weld c silica and d is low throat thickness ductility you know low throat thickness ductility is related to lamellar tearing so max spray and silica it is not the option for solid solidification cracking related to it is the increased depth to with ratio of the weld so this is the main concerning things of the solidification cracking that is increased depth to with ratio of the oil so answer is b question number 2 which of these elongation values would more susceptible to lamellar tearing greater than 20% 30% and above less than 20% and they could all susceptible so answer is less than 20% if it is elongation value then definitely it is more susceptible to lamellar tearing answer is c question number 3 to assess the surface of a well for direct inspection the distance from the surface to the eye should be a maximum or of so if from eye to your inspection surface what will be the minimum distance that is 200 mm 6000 mm 600, 60 mm and last is 600 mm if you go see so 3.1 very beginning it is mentioned 600 mm is the correct answer answer is d question number 4 in mig mag welding which would mode would mode of transfer is preferred as non desired so which one is non desired you have to know plus deep globular or spray so globular is the non desired so answer is c question number 5 which tungsten electrode is usually used to weld aluminum zirconiated larger diameter pointed electrode and thyrotate so which one is the correct one so zirconiated is the correct one for usually used for weld aluminum tungsten electrode question number 6 the main purpose of preheating what is the main purpose of preheating we know very well to slow down the cooling rate so you see the option 0.5% of the yield of the material delay the cooling rate reduce the residual stress and improve fusion so you can blindly you can say this option is there delay the cooling rate that is the slow down the cooling rate so correct option is b question number 7 which one of these electrodes produce the highest level of hydrogen if you see a cellulosic electrode iron powder electrode rotile electrode and the carbon equivalent elect value so which one is the highest level of hydrogen that is cellulosic electrode you can see the highest level of hydrogen is there answer is a question number 8 according to en2253 if the symbol is on the identification line where does the oil go if you see the symbol in the identification line so opposite arrow side on the arrow side on both side it does not matter see the picture here you see this is the your identification line i will show you here identification line this is your the identification line okay this is the reference line and this is the identification line if the symbol is the on the identification line so here the symbol is here you see the symbol is here then where does the oil go means this is your arrow side arrow line means arrow side means opposite side opposite arrow side so the correct answer is opposite arrow side question number 8 option a question number 9 which electrode type produces the lowest level of hydrogen basic type rotile type 
एम एम बेसिक इलेक्ट्रोड एंड थिक कोटेड आयरन पाउडर सो करेक्ट इज एंसर ए ऑप्शन ए नाइन इज ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन हुई वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस एंड मोड इज मोर सक्सेप्टेबल टू लैक ऑफ साइड वॉल फ्यूजन मैगडीप सल्फर एस ए डब्ल्यू डी सी पॉजिटिव एंड ग्लोबुलर हुईच वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस मोड इज सक्सेप्टेबल टू लैक ऑफ साइड वॉल फ्यूजन एंसर ए मैगडीप मेटल एक्टिव गैस इज द डीप ट्रांसफर इफ यू सी द दिस वन इज मोर सक्सेप्टेबल टू लैक ऑफ साइड वॉल फ्यूजन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन transfer tensile test was carried out on a welding procedure it the cross sectional area of the specimen is 30 mm wide and 15 mm thick and the maximum load applied is 170 kn what is the ultimate tensile strength value so the this is the formula is there there is four option is there 600 377 450 and 300 if you see the formula uts is the maximum load applied by least ca then it will get the 170 this is for the kn then into 1000 newton per mm square divided by 30 is the wide and 15 mm thick the least least csa cross sectional area so 13 into 15 so it will be answered will be 377 so option sorry the option will be b not a not a option is b is the correct one so 11 option b is the correct one question number 12 during assembly how are the length of tack welds and feet are determined during assembly how you have to check the tack length tack welds and feet up from where you get the all information first is option is 12b the fabrication drawing will give all the information okay then the fabrication you will get all the information okay by the welders as they have extensive knowledge never in the extensive knowledge you will not get the right one that you will get the will give all the information to your side any length of tack will you will do for assembly no any length will not be accepted and the, the fabrication specification will give minimum tack length requirement this is the correct one fabrication drawing from where you get you will get fabrication drawing from fabrication specification this is totally different so you will first you have to see the fabrication specification and the maybe in fabrication drawing all the information are not there that's why you have to follow the fabrication specification you will get all the details so question number 12 you will get the answer the option is d so this 12 question is very important you will go one by one if you have still have any question explanation or any answer you will not getting uh, uh, any you have any problem in your mind then you can ask to me i will explain to you thanks a lot please subscribe my channel to get the regular updates you can see my channel name it is welding ndt inspection please like share and subscribe my channel to get the regular update Thanks a lot